And David Glenda, that band competition is still going behind me, but wow, what an extraordinary story. What an extraordinary kid. He is such an inspiration to all of us. To step into the spotlight at Ford Field for the state marching band championships would have any high school kid nervous. Doing it without the use of your arms and legs is unthinkable for most of us. But for Drew Claiborne, it's a reality. And remarkably, he's taking it all in stride. Excited to go first. A little nervous. It'll be fun, though. It's cool being out with all my friends. He's very strong, and he uh, never quits. And uh, he just living life and doing what he would normally do. Drew is a Walled Lake High School junior who used to play the tuba. Today, he played a specially designed keyboard that allows him to use his mouth to make sounds. Any, like, weird noises or cool sounds you hear, it's most likely me. Drew's life changed forever eight months ago when he was practicing for another high school performance. He was doing a backflip but landed wrong and paralyzed himself from the shoulders down. I didn't think it would change much at first, but I definitely see it did. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's a lot of differences, but... Still the same life. Same life with new challenges. But Drew is making it work and inspiring others, including his fellow band members and his band director. When Drew had his accident, it affected us all so much. We were all devastated by it. But he's come through in just a, such a powerful way, and it's, it's helped us all realize, you know, life is... Precious. He is just so inspiring how he's handled this whole thing, and um, he's just so, so positive, and he's always so uplifting to our whole team, and it's so great they still used to be out here doing it with us. Really amazing stuff, and here's the best news of the day. Drew's band won first place in their division at the state championships here at Fort Field. Reporting live, I'm Tom Wade, Channel 7 Action News.